Hello, everyone. Welcome back, my beloved kings and queens. My name is Joyce McTeer, and I am the owner and operator of LaJoy Truck Creation Designs. I'm coming to you all today with a how to make video. Today, I'm going to show you all how to make a pair of earrings using this clothespin. So you're going to need two clothespins in order to do this here DIY, okay? You're gonna need two pieces of aluminum wire. If you don't have aluminum wire, try to get something as close to uh, 12 or 14 or 16 gauge, okay? Whatever you have and those and that num those are numbers. Um, you're gonna need some paint. This is the paint that I choose that I'm gonna be using. I got, the, I have the ruler here because this, I'm going to be, this is the ruler that I use to measure out my measurements. My measurements is about 19 inches long per piece, okay? You're going to need some round nose pliers, some wire cutters, a paintbrush, and three uh, um, 10 millimeter beads. So these are the colors that I'm going to be using. This is like a cherry wood, cherry wood red gold and black okay the color of my wire is like an antique gold okay so we're gonna go ahead and get and also i'm sorry y'all make sure that you have your fish hooks as well so we're gonna go ahead and get started okay, y'all so the very first thing that we are going to do is i'm going to take my paint and I am going to paint now. I'm not going to show you all how to paint this, but pretty much what you want to do is you want to paint it and I'm only going to be doing one coat. Okay, so basically I'm going to be taking this apart. I am not going to be painting this with these with this piece connected. So I'm going to paint this and then I'm going to come back and show y'all the next part. Okay, y'all. So. Hmm. I think I got ahead of myself a little bit. But anyway, I have already painted my pieces. Now what I wanna show y'all is, what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue these two pieces together, which I have already done. And, but I wanna show you what this actually looks like. Now this is what it looks like. This is what the regular uh, clothespin would look like, okay? Y'all gonna have to excuse my hands. It's like no matter how much um, lotion I put on my hands, they still are, they are really, really very, very dry. But instead of me doing what I need to do, I'm gonna be changing the design. And the design that you're gonna see and get is this. So this is going to be the design, okay? Now what I did was I took my glue gun and I put some glue on the inside right here. And I glued these two pieces together, just like that. So I wanted to give it some time to dry. So here it is, okay? It's nice and dry. And if it, if it looks a little raggedy, that's the look that I wanted to have, okay? I only put one coat. And I'm not, I, I, the look that I want, I didn't want it to have like a polished kind of look, like a really polished look, okay? So basically what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take my wire and I'm going to come up to the top and I'm going to make a loop in my wire. Okay, come down to the very bottom of my piece. And the thing I like about this is that this changes the shape, okay? So I'm going to come here, and I'm going to place my piece right down here. Now you want to hold it as tight as you can, and you want to wrap it, okay? Holding it as tight as you can, you want to wrap that piece right down in there and bring it all the way around just like this. Okay, so let me show you. Okay, and then when you bring it all the way around to the front, you wanna make a loop right here. You're gonna make a loop, okay? And then you have two slacks like right on the side, one here and one there. 
Now I'm gonna take and go in between here, go around the back again, and bring it in between the next one, and bring it up again. And let me show y'all so y'all can see it. Now let me put, so the next thing I'm going to do, okay, so this is what you're gonna have, all right? Now you got you want to have some you have some a slack right here on one side, and you have another one here on this side. So basically, what I'm gonna do next is I'm just gonna come up here and take that through here, and go all the way around to the other side, and come back this way. Okay. Okay, y'all. So once you once you do that. I hope y'all can see everything that I've done. Then I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna make another loop. Sorry, y'all. Just like this. All right. And then I'm just gonna start. I'm gonna come up, bring, try to bring it up as close as I can. And I'm just gonna start wrapping this at the top. I'm just gonna start wrapping it around just like this at the top and every time I wrap it around you want to try to bring it in more and more and more you want to try to bring the wire in more and more and more okay yeah just like this okay so this is basically what I have and I'm gonna come and just keep twisting it and try to get it in the center, okay? But this is what I have so far. This is the back, and this is the front. So I'm gonna take this piece, and I'm gonna start adding on my um, wood beads. I'm gonna put on my black one first. Okay. Then I'm gonna put on my red one. That's like a wine color. And then I'm gonna put on my gold one. Okay, have on all three. And I'm gonna pinch this over to the side and I'm going to take where my index finger is and snip it just like that. I'm going to give it some indentation squeezing it and then I'm going to make a loop so I'm gonna bring this over just like this okay and this is what your earring will look like once it's completed. So this is it. So then last but not least, you take your fish hook and you put your fish hook on and nobody will ever know that you created this here with clothespins. Now the clothespins that I choose to do this uh, this with were the small ones because you know they come in clothespins comes in many sizes. Now I was thinking about doing some in this size because this is the really big one. just to see and I might do that yeah pretty much the same shape except for when you get to this part you don't have that extra slack there you just have one here and one up here yeah so like I always say y'all 
The sky is the limit. This is different. And um, I want to take this time to say thank you all for watching. And if you are new, please make sure that you subscribe to the channel by hitting the all button up on the side. Thank you all to my new subscribers and my super supporters. Once again, thank y'all for watching. Have a wonderful and awesome day. And until my next video, my beloved kings and queens, peace and blessings. See ya.